in this video we're gonna take a look at how you can make this model work in your unity uh, video game We're going to be focusing mostly on the individual wheel colliders or suspension system for this uh, particular vehicle. As you can see, this car has uh, six wheels. If you're working on a game that's uh, based on racing, most of your models are going to have four wheels. And if you've been following my tutorials, we've built a controller that has front wheel, rear wheel and all wheel drive. This all wheel drive means four wheel drive system. So in this video we're gonna be adding this six wheel drive option option and I'm gonna show you the basics of the wheel colliders. Okay so this is your typical wheel collider. So in this model we have six uh, wheels and each of them must have a uh, wheel collider attached to it. I'm gonna delete this right now and I'm going to show you how you can set it up on your own. So select all of them, make sure that these are empty game objects with no children attached to it or any collider. And also make sure your real meshes are in a separate game object folder. So with all six of them selected, first we want to make sure the rotation is set to zero. And then we want to add component wheel collider. Now we have the wheel collider set to each and every wheel of this vehicle. So I'm going to go into the orthographic view and I'm going to set the suspension distance. So since this wheel, it, since uh, this car is very high off the ground, we want the suspension distance to be high as well. So we're going to set it to about 0.4. We also want to reset the center a little bit higher. So right now what we've done is reset the base position of the wheel which is right in the middle of the actual wheel mesh. Now this wheel will be able to move up and down like this when we drive. Next thing we want to know about the wheel colliders is the radius. So for right now the radius is almost perfect. Okay so for me the radius of 0.48 works uh, almost perfectly. Now these are the rest of the uh, components of the wheel collider which you should not uh, hard code from here but you should change them via your uh, controller script which we're gonna take a look in a minute okay so now we're done with the wheel colliders next thing we want to do is go into our controller if you're using the script that is available in the description that is totally for free you should have some uh, the controller script something like this to add the option of six wheel drive in the controller into the drive type uh, enum enumerator we're gonna we're gonna add in another option that says six wheel drive okay next thing we want to do is get six wheels from the children instead of four that are previously set down in the get objects uh, block of code we want to add in a couple of lines the first line we want to add is make the wheel colliders and the wheel meshes arrays set to null. After you set it to null, we want to reset the size of this array to six elements. After you set the array size to six elements, we want to add in a if statement to check if we're using a four wheel drive system or a six wheel drive system. So we're going to put this all expression in a if statement and we're going to ask if the drive is equal to the drive type dot six wheel drive. So I'm going to copy this 
and I'm going to paste it here. So if we're using a six wheel drive, we want to go to obviously get six wheels instead of four wheels. So let's add two more wheels into this group. And after that, we want to set a else statement. Okay, that's all you have to do. Hit control save and go back to your game. Now we can see that the wheel colliders work perfectly fine. Now the last thing we want to do is add in a grip value to obviously change the amount of grip that the vehicle has because uh, this vehicle obviously has a lot of grip so we want to change that and if for example we have a uh, small car that has obviously less grip we can just change this slider back into your controller script what we want to do is add in a new range of 0.5 all the way over to 2 we want to set it to public float and we want to name it grip we want to default this grip value to 1 what we're going to do with this grip uh, float variable is we want to come down here where we calculate the traction so this block of code is executed when we hold down the handbrake which means that we should not change anything in here what we should change is in here so what we're gonna do in here is reset the forward friction also the sideways friction to a variable that increases over the speed of the vehicle so this increases and in the end we're adding a default value of one now all we have to do is change this one into grip hit control save and now into your inspector view we have a grip slider that goes from 5 all the way over to 1.5 or 2 or whatever you've set it so let's test it at 0.5 we can see that is obviously sliding so if we set this grip value all the way over to 1.5 and we build up some speed we'll see that it actually grips much much better and it also flips over okay now the very last thing we want to do is go into the wheel colliders and check if the friction values are all the same we can see that the four wheels or the four front wheels are changing the grip and the last two are set to a default value of one and because of that the drifting doesn't work very good to fix that head on over to your controller and into where we calculate the traction we want to see that we change the traction only for the front four wheels so we want to change that to wheels dot length we hit save i'm going to increase the power a little bit And now if we check in our wheel colliders, we'll see that all the wheel colliders have a have the same friction value. Now if we go into the grip and change it to a different value, we should see that the grip in here also changes. And it and it changes for all six of them. So that is how you make a six-wheel drive system work.